Early on in my life, I was spoiled by the RPG greats like Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, and Secret of Mana. And once I got the taste for them, I was hooked and began looking for more. Playing through retro games is sort of like a journey in and of itself. You never really know what you're going to get when you pop in a cartridge or a CD for the first time. In that journey, you come across a lot of mediocre games, and even some really bad games. But what's even more rare is when you come across a game that makes the entire journey worth it. And this is one of those games. Welcome back to the Game Collection. I am Super Derek, and this is Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. Luna! Luna, you have to come with us! What? Luna, all the exciting adventures in the world mean nothing if you're not with us. This isn't just my adventure, Luna. It's ours. Oh, Alex, but what if... There's no time to think about it. Hurry! Give me your hand. Come on! Check this out. I won't give you up. You mustn't give up either, regardless of how hopeless things may seem. There has to be a way. Lunar is an RPG that was originally released on the Sega CD. It was developed by Game Arts and localized and published by the late Working Designs. Since its original release, the game has been ported and remade from the ground up a few times. Silver Star's Story Complete was originally released on the Sega Saturn and then ported to the PlayStation. To paraphrase the words of Kei Shigema, while each release of the game tells the same story, the PlayStation is perhaps the best storyteller of them all. In Lunar, you play as a young man named Alex, a musician and swordsman who dreams of becoming the next Dragon Master. With your friends, you set off on a short journey that quickly snowballs into an adventure of epic proportions. I want to tell you more. I really do. But more than that, I want to not spoil the adventure for you, because Game Art's primary objective when making this game was to tell a story. And to their credit, the story of Lunar may in fact be the best love story ever told through the medium of video games. That's right. This game is a beautiful love story, so if you're too macho or too jaded to admit that you've got a heart, this game may be a bit too much for you to handle. But if you're a hopeless romantic, brace yourselves, because the feels are coming. Lunar plays, for the most part, like a standard turn-based RPG, but you can breathe a sigh of relief because this game doesn't feature random battle encounters. Instead, Enemies can be seen from the main map where you walk around. You can choose to either fight them or heal up first, or you can even just walk away. The battles, which take place on a separate battle screen, have a hint of tactical RPG mixed in, which keeps the battles feeling interesting. Characters can only perform melee attacks if they are close enough to an enemy, and vice versa. You can even arrange your character's starting positions in a battle, which makes for a pretty flexible system that you can build strategies around. Something else to note is that you're greeted right off the bat with a higher difficulty than most RPGs, and you'll probably die a lot, like I did. So be sure to save often. This game offers a good challenge the whole way through. A pretty good portion of this game's emotion is evoked through song. If you've already played through the game, you too have probably developed a Pavlovian response to get weepy when you hear a certain ocarina play a certain song. Noriki Iwadare, also famous for his work in the Grandia series, knocked the ball out of the park with his compositions for this game. 
the voice acting within the game is also quite good. Though, since it's a PlayStation game, the voice acting is a bit limited. Alex, you're late again, silly. Throughout the game, you're also regularly treated with greatly improved full motion animations created by Toshiyuki Kuboka, who is also well known for his design and animation work in the Giant Robo anime series. Outside of the animations, I think that some of the scenes within Lunar are perhaps some of the best looking visuals on a 2D top-down RPG that I've seen. Since the game was released, it's also received ports to the Game Boy Advance as Lunar Legend, and to the PlayStation Portable as Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Lunar has also received a sequel, Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. Prequels have also been made and released for the Game Gear and Sega Saturn, but were never brought to the United States, though we did receive the latest prequel, Dragon Song, for the Nintendo DS in 2005. There are two versions of the PlayStation release of Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. The two-disc version can be bought for about $25, and contains only the game which spans two discs. The four-disc version contains both game discs, a making of video disc viewable only on the PlayStation, and a soundtrack. In addition, you also get a hardcover manual, a cloth map of Lunar, and a nice box to store everything in. A complete copy of this will probably run you about $60, but it makes for a really nice collector's piece. Lunar has easily found its way into my heart and into my top list of RPGs of all time. And it's perfected the art of weaving a story that just leaves you wanting more. And there is a sequel, so that's awesome, and I can't wait to review it. But first, I've got some requests to fulfill next time on the game collection. What? You want some more? Okay, well, you could check out one of these videos. They're kinda cool. Oh, and since you're already clicking on stuff anyway, maybe you should click on this button. You know, since you're checking out my new videos anyway, right? <laughs>